Welcome back to the Pandemic Greenhouse, or should I say the Pandemic Garage. Sorry, I'd rather be in there, but I want to show you guys this and I have better lighting in here. So this is my newer system and this is going to be going from my, my veg closet to my flower closet. So I haven't installed the drains yet on this, but this is where the drain is going to go. The drains are $25 a piece and uh, the store didn't even have them. But for the video, it's probably better that they're not on there because I want to show you. So in there, you see that bottle? Well, that's as high as it goes. When that bottle reaches there, that's when the water will stop flowing in. Okay. There's your float. And when it comes up, I'll go ahead and activate it. It just stops, see? So that controls the water flow, okay? And then I just put a cap there so I can constantly go in there and check it. And this system is gonna be interlocked like this when it's in my veg chamber, okay? Then when it goes into my flower chamber, they're gonna be spread across like this, okay? They're gonna need more room. So, they save more space and they fit inside of the trench that I made inside of my, my greenhouse. So, you know, this is custom fit for, for my application. So you got to drain, you know, a filler on both. And um, one of the things that I solved with this one was installing the float a little bit higher. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you. So as you can see, now the filler is above the top of the uh, pipes that the plants are going to be in. That way this seal doesn't have to be watertight. You can take it off, replace it, maintain it. Um, on my last unit, I put it down at the same level. So if that seal were to give out, it would actually you know, leak out. So putting this above your pipes where your plants are going to be, makes you know ensures you that this doesn't have to be watertight okay so this will be my new unit that i'm going to test going from my veg closet to my flower closet doing a full cycle um, never moving them so they're going to be in these pipes throughout the entire grow and these are for my photo period okay so we're waiting for the drains on this and i've already got my clones cut so when those are ready, we'll go ahead and pop them in. Um, to, to drill those holes for these, I would recommend putting the pipe in, a, in something like this where you can drill it down and uh, really put some pressure on it, okay? It holds the pipe nice and steady. Drill the hole, then glue it down onto your, you know, onto your fittings. And um, really, it's simple to do. Just make sure everything's square. Um, for me, it's it's pretty safe. I have a stop block on my chop saw So really I just you know push it to there and then I cut and I'm able to get consistent lengths really quickly um, For you out there that don't have a chop saw, you know, you can use a you can use whatever kind of saw you want So you're gonna need this drill bit right here three-quarter inch Okay, that's gonna be for your float Okay and uh, that's about it. So this unit will be will be done pretty soon. Just waiting on those drains, $25 a piece. So my theory is, you know, I'm gonna try going to a two inch pipe on the next one that I make and see if it's uh, sufficient because if you go down to two inch fittings, um, they're half the cost. That $25 valve is $12. All right, well, there's a look at the new unit. And I uh, can't wait to test it out. So I'll keep you guys updated. Pandemic Greenhouse, out for now.